Am I mean for Amy? Little People Fan Slam, Amy Roloff, for unfair treatment of husband Chris Marek, in new show clip. Hello dear lovely viewers, welcome to Blast Gossip with Jesse. I hope your day is so well. The Little People Big World star has faced backlash for years regarding her relationship with her ex-spouse Matt Roloff. Now, Amy, 60, has come under fire for her behavior towards her new husband Chris, also 60, who she married last year. In a show preview clip shared on TLC's Instagram page, the reality star's view gifted his step-grandson Jackson a bicycle. The family newcomer helped the five-year-old climb on the bike and learn to ride through the park alongside his family. Chris made sure to find a bicycle that fit Jackson's size, which was much appreciated by the little boy's parents, Zach and Tori Roloff. But fans were not all pleased by the clip as many believe Amy has not given her husband enough credit for the effort he's put in with her family. Several took to Reddit to express their frustration with the Roloff matriarch. This guy doesn't get talked about enough. He may be on the quiet side but Chris is so much better than Matt. He's a better father figure or grandfather figure to the kids than Matt is. Chris goes out of his way to try and bond and connect with the kids, by Matt and Karen. One wrote, opening up the conversation, I really like him. He seems like such a nice guy but obviously all I see is what's on T. If he's as nice as he seems off air, I wonder what the attraction was to Amy. She seems difficult to me, a second agreed. A third remarked, I'm hoping him and Amy make it but I don't think she's the easiest person to be married to. Her and Matt both have challenging personalities. Fans watched as Amy and Matt's marriage fell apart on camera and ultimately ended in divorce in 2016. The pair had frequent on-screen disagreements and some have continued past their split just last week. Matt and Amy separately opened up about an argument they had over their Oregon farm. The family's feud over the property continued on Tuesday's season premiere of the TLC series. In one scene, Amy discussed her feelings about Matt's decision to sell the farm with her husband, Chris. The pair were having lunch on a picnic table when Chris asked Amy how she thought the kids were handling the move. I think they're still sad, disappointed, kind of mad. Frustrated how this all went down, the matriarch shared. Amy further explained her thoughts in a confessional interview where she called out her ex-husband for ignoring their kids' feelings about the matter. The former couple is parents to twin sons, Zach and Jeremy, 32, a daughter, Molly, 29, and a son, Jacob, 25. I think that's how Matt survives. Everything's okay. Everything's dandy. You may be okay with this, but do you not realize that the people around you, your family, this is not okay? It didn't go down well, Amy said. She continued. This was something that I think hit to the core. And so I think that's hard just to sweep it away underneath the rug and say, okay, ye, it's all good. I think it will take time for them. The scene flashed back to Amy talking to Chris, sharing her sympathies for her children over their dad's behavior. I guess the thought of their dad just saying, oh well, it didn't work out. It's like, wait a minute, it can't just be like that. There's too much personal and emotional things that have happened over the years, she stated. Matt and Amy's eldest children, Zach and Jeremy, each expressed interest in purchasing the farm, but Matt declined their offers after they couldn't reach a financial agreement. The patriarch later put the farm on the market for $4 million in hopes of finding a buyer outside the family. The move caused tension between the kids and their father and caused numerous arguments between Matt and Amy. Amy reflected on one of their heated disputes saying things got crazy while discussing the farm sale. She also explained where she stands, saying she believed an agreement could have been worked out before the decision to sell was made later in the episode. Matt gave his side of the story while having lunch with his girlfriend, Karen Chandler, 54. He detailed his spat with his ex-wife claiming she attacked him over the issue. Amy seems pretty upset about it because I put the farm up for sale. If Amy's upset about something, she lets me know about it, Matt said in a confessional interview. Karen tried to make sense of Amy's supposed outburst saying the mom of four didn't want her children to have to let go of the farm. Matt then explained that he was only selling a portion of the farm, though he could understand why his family was upset over the decision the TV personality's confession followed the news last month that he had decided to take the farm off the market with. Plans to rent out the family home. However, not everyone is on board with the rental, as Matt revealed that Amy was completely against the idea. Fans slam Amy Roloff for nasty behavior toward Matt, 
Based on some intense older season LP viewers are often disappointed by the matriarch Amy Roloff. The audience first met Amy and Matt in 2006 during the show's debut. The show features the life of little people. The former couple had many plans for their small family and Roloff farm. Unfortunately, their marriage did work out well, and they moved apart. Amy, however, followed her passion and built up her own business. The reality star started her cooking classes and is doing great. The viewers are very well aware that Amy has always worked hard to reach her goals. But there was a time when she let everyone down. Fans believe that Amy's nature in earlier seasons of the show has been very annoying, and it could all just be for the camera. They recently highlighted some of her negative attitudes. Let's read about it. The LBP Gummy star Amy Roloff has been a fan favorite for a long time now. But was she always in their good books? Let's see what people have to say about her nature. Recently, one Redditor highlighted some of Amy Roloff's contrasting nature from the earlier season. Giving an example from season four, the Redditor said Amy always used to disagree with Matt even if he had some valid points. In the older season, Matt talked to Amy about their kids' falling grades. He said they needed to do better in school and asked what was happening with them. However, Amy suddenly got defensive and busted out on him. However, in the next scene, she received a call from the school. They informed her that the kids had missed a lot of classes. Amy says, man, these kids need to do better in school. The reality star has constantly appeared negative in the show's earlier seasons. Many LPB viewers find Amy's negative behavior to be very annoying. Fans even said that Amy used to annoy more than Matt in the earlier seasons. One fan said that because Amy did not have much control over farm stuff, she wanted to get back at Matt by disregarding everything he said about the kids and the house. On the other hand, viewers believed that Amy was unhappy in the relationship, so the frustration was natural. Although she was highly defensive, viewers feel her solo parenting was the cause of her anger. However, blaming each other for who is wrong and right won't help. Matt and Amy are living their best lives with the partners they love, which is more important to LPB Dove is star Amy Roloff never supported Matt Roloff's ideas regarding the Roloff farm. She admits that the farm holds many emotional memories. Therefore, allowing outsiders to have complete control over it was unfair. However, in the last season's final, Matt Roloff decided to add his property on Airbim for short-term rental. Amy Roloff, along with her kids, was entirely against his idea. The patriarch also claims that his kids can access the property freely, but Amy suggests that the kids will never agree to it. Matt also informed his kids about his rental idea but did not receive any feedback from them. As viewers of LPB Guy, you must know Amy frequently hosts Instagram live sessions with her friend, Lisa. However, in her live session, she answers fans' questions regarding the show. During the session, Lisa asks questions about Matt's idea to allow kids a free stay. She asked Amy whether her kids would accept the offer and enjoy their free stay. However, Amy knew she would get this question, so she was prepared for it. She said exactly what she said on the show. Amy said, are you high? You know what, however, further to the conversation, she said that although she doesn't know what the future will be, she will never do that. Amy Roloff chooses to remain neutral on the topic. Cheating scandal. Matt Roloff admitted he didn't make commitment a priority when Matt and Amy Roloff filed for divorce after nearly 30 years of marriage. Little people. Big world fans were shocked. But there were plenty of clues in the family's 2007 book, Little People, Big Values, that the longtime couple was fated to split me, and I had our share of conflicts, disagreements, and arguments. Matt wrote in the advice book what was their one issue. Matt admitted he didn't make commitment a top priority. While Amy puts commitment at or near the top of her list, I would put it further down. The father of four, now 54, wrote, Amy tends to be more of a committed to a fault kind of person, while I see most commitments with some very notable exceptions as flexible and negotiable. Since the TLC reality show's 2006 debut, Amy, 51, has often exploded on Matt while cameras rolled. It's not fancy editing, she confessed. That's good television, I suppose, and there is an element of truth to it, she said. Yes, I get frustrated and angry. At Matt sometimes. We're both imperfect human beings, and we have our share of conflicts and arguments. It seems Matt always had plans to leave the Oregon family farm, and perhaps his wife.
There is a part of me that would like to spend some time in other places, maybe relocate to Colorado for a few years, then spend some time in Texas, then move to Idaho. Matt claimed in the book that he and Amy were very different in their approach to life. While I may look at a pile of bills and a bank account statement that reads empty, Subscribe Blast Gossip YouTube channel for more videos. Don't miss any update. Thanks for watching.